Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're going to check out nature aquariums and water gardens to see if I can spend some more money on coral. Alright, and here we are at Nature Aquariums and Water Gardens. Stop two of three on my little uh, little outing as I go out and buy some fish and coral. And uh, as soon as you walk in this store, have a look at this incredible setup here. This is a true living piece of rainforest that you could have in your own house. And I know the tank here has been going for quite some time and it just looks so mature. I know this is a uh, reef keeping channel, but uh, you can't help but admit that this absolutely takes your breath away when you see it. I can't imagine the amount of moisture and stuff coming out of it if it was in your house, but uh, wow, just beautiful. And uh, we'll do a little lap of some of the display tanks here up in the uh, front room. And uh, I will just give you a little spoiler alert. They're not all fresh water. We've got some crazy uh, saltwater display tanks coming up. But uh, in the meantime, have a look at these freshwater ones with uh, some of the plants growing up on the driftwood out of the water. Simply stunning. And uh, come across here, we've got a little nano there with a really neat little light. I'm led to believe that uh, that light is a product that uh, Nature Aquariums are bringing in themselves. It is their own brand of light. So... Uh, be sure to check that out if you're looking for a nice little affordable nano light. Have a look at this little water box, uh, Paludarium, Paludorium. I'm not even quite sure how to pronounce that, but what a beauty. And this setup here, wow, it's got some serious depth to it. There's no doubt about it that uh, the team here are absolute experts in producing some incredible freshwater planted scapes. And um, you can basically pick and choose the style you want when you walk through their display here. And uh, this one's really cool. It's... Um, it's got like that floating scape. You look underneath it there, there's nothing there. Um, the light is currently set to that real red spectrum. It just gives this tank a real uh, other dimension look to it, which is pretty cool. We've got some dry tanks there, some ones you can purchase. Yet another crazy planted display tank there. Come around the corner and aha, we got some salty stuff. So uh, let me just pop a filter on and we'll check that out. This one's a nice little uh, soft coral tank, which is something I absolutely love to see in uh, aquariums because when you, particularly in an aquarium that carries fresh water and salt water, it's good to show people the sort of tank that they can achieve as their first reef tank. You don't want this one with crazy Walt Disney's and home wreckers and all the top end uh, SBS Aquaporas in there. That one is an easy to keep red sea tank there. Really good to see. But if you want to stretch the bounds a little bit further, come and check out this awesome setup. I believe this tank's a Cade. It's uh, just uh, LPS and SPS heaven. We've got some beautiful pieces in here. Check out the uh, hammers, the gonoporas, the cynarias. Gorgeous gold chalice there, red cap. Looks like we've got a Montipora confusa perhaps up the back there. Um, some more there at the front, some crazy deshies. You can see some sticks up there. The very, very green hammer on the end there, but uh, Wow, some nice pieces in here. The team are not afraid to put some uh, crazy stock in there to show it off. And the other thing of interest here is every single piece in this display is available for sale. Whilst it's a display tank, the team at Nature Aquariums are strong believers of if it's in the store, it's available for sale. The price may always <laughs> the price may be up for uh, discussion because uh, some of these pieces are obviously show pieces like that recordia there burning the lens on my camera. But uh, every single one of these pieces is available, including that gorgeous uh, yellow-coloured uh, scenario there next to the red one. Some fairly unique stuff there. And you can see they're also taking some frags out of this tank. See some beautiful uh, glitter gonies there. That really nice uh, purple and green uh, SBS up there. Some blue stag going on. Crazy hammer garden. Some really nice acropora starting to grow in there. Not to mention this uh, singular Montipora piece up there. I believe that came in collected like that so it took quite a bit of shipping to get in there but uh wow what a what an instant uh showpiece to put in your tank and uh, we've got some nice growth there and some sps this tank is lit up by a uh, lou magic blaze i believe that unit is or a couple of them uh with some vitamin e strips we'll just come in past here you see Jono there working behind the counter he's your uh, resident man on site there and um you can see there's no shortage of uh, dry goods here and in fact nature aquariums have got this huge, huge online store. So be sure to check out the uh, Nature Aquariums website. I'll put the link down below so you can check that out. The guys ensure they always have the cheapest prices on dry goods Australia-wide. So we've got the Coral Essentials range there, Dr. Tim's. We've got uh, freshwater goods over here over to my left, including all your CO2 things and uh, planted trimming things, your soils, all the stuff you need. You can see the full ADA range there. 
We've got some more Dr. Tims. We've got uh, some Hammer Checkers. We've got, uh, you name it. <laughs> the guys have got it. They do have a fair warehouse style going on with the dry goods here. So um, you can be pretty overwhelmed when you walk around. But uh, rest assured that uh, if you're after it, the team are likely going to have it. But uh, we're here to have a look at corals. And uh, this is where the corals are. So let's get on into it. We've got some uh, nice, really nice little uh, showpiece scully there. It's got... Uh, Rather than just being the straight red and green, it's got a little bit of orange bleeding through it. Beautiful, beautiful toxic red uh, Sonaria. We've got some nice deshies there. Quite like that uh, yellowish speckle one there. It's quite nice. A couple more deshies, some torches. Uh, quite a few more deshies. And up the back there are some sticks, which is something I've been looking for. It's been hard to find uh, Acropora at the moment. And I'm happy to say that here at uh, this collection here at uh, Nature Aquariums are $40 a piece. That's $40 Australian for a colony of wild caught Acropora. So I apologize to my uh, international friends watching this video. What a steal those pieces are. That's just so good. And uh, I will give you a little spoiler alert. I did take two of them home. Come across here, we've got uh, some green stuff polyps, we've got some torches, got some pectinia there. That pectinia also came home with me. Got uh, no shortage of elegance up the back there. We've got some rhodactus, we've got some uh, gonoporas. You can see a branching uh, sun coral there, that's pretty cool. Some crazy, crazy scolomers. We've got uh, some fungiers in the middle there. Uh, some more, looks like some scollies. Nice turbinara. Some more scullies come over here into this tank. Now, this tank here, this is crazy. They're $40 a piece, and if you buy two, you get one free. So <laughs> we're talking $80 Australian to pick any three pieces from this tank. That's a deal I could not help but uh, take up on. And uh, you can see some uh, bubble corals there, some fungiers. That Cynaria there came home with me along with a uh, lovely purple and yellow Turbinara. Absolute steal, three pieces for uh, eighty bucks. But uh, let's head on over around the corner here and check out. We've got some, uh, we've got some ultra maxima and crocaea clams there. They've been aquacultured. A couple of uh, looks like a little gonopora there. A couple of uh, pieces not for sale just yet. You see a really nice uh, torch up the back there. Absolute ultra toxic green. That's coming home with me. And uh, this one here, this gigantic green and yellow hammer that's been sold to Uma. My man, Uma, here's a picture of it for you, bro. I know you haven't quite received it yet. Just waiting for uh, your tank to be ready, but uh, it's an absolute stunner. Let's see what we've got over here. It's some crazy, crazy Blasto in. Now, I must admit, um, I've never been a massive Blasto fan, but some of the variants in the colors there are absolutely crazy. We've got uh, some lovely hammers here. We've got tricolor hammers. We've got some torches. See some acans and some uh, trackies up there. In these baskets here, we've got a good assortment. In fact, a crazy assortment of uh, bubble tip anemones. So, so many anemones there to pick from. Different prices, different colors. You name it, you want to set up a NEM tank, you can do it right there. In this tank here, we've got some uh, basic dash. 50 bucks a piece or two for 80. And check out these little hammers, 15 bucks a head. Got a nano tank or you're just starting to find your feet with corals. What a great way to get some color, some movement without spending a fortune in your tank. And just test the water, see if your tank is ready for corals before you go spending some big dollars on some of these uh, showpiece hammers here. And when I say big dollars, I mean, they're still not crazy. You're talking 150 bucks Australian for a gold hammer, $100 for some absolutely beautiful, toxic, mottled hammers. And we come across here into some Rhodactus pieces there. So we've got, uh, sorry, morph pieces, red morphs, green morphs, orange morphs. Uh, ranging between 10 bucks and 25 bucks a head. And then over here into the frag tank, we've got uh, no shortage of Duncans. We've got uh, looks like some Blastos, some Favias, some Chalice, some Xenia, which is cool to see. Uh, what else? Some different Gonies there. This really cool uh, orange, orange-ish Monty, I'm going to say, because it's, uh, it's somewhere between red and orange. We've got, uh, looks like some Samacora. Um, we've got some Acropora here, which uh, the guys didn't want me to show because it's got the tiniest amount of algae on there. But uh, I bought a piece from there and put it in my tank and uh, the snails cleaned it up like that. Now we've got some sexy shrimp, which is pretty cool. Have a look at them all in here. There's heaps, 60 bucks a piece there. Got some cleaner shrimp, 150. That is the going rate in Australia for all our American friends. We pay pretty serious dollars for redline cleaner shrimp. We've got a soft coral tank here, 30 bucks a piece. Can't go wrong there. Just pan across here, show you some of the uh, dry goods. The um, dry goods don't end here. If you are chasing something, I highly recommend you ask the staff because um, there's so much stuff to walk through here that you could miss what you're looking for. But you can see the uh, full Red Sea range there, including their skimmers and their supplements. 
We've got uh, the Sea Chem range there, both their uh, freshwater and their uh, reef supplements. Of course, we've got Aquaforest, the full assortment there, from their salts to their supplements to some of their uh, uh, things like our biofill and phosphate minus, their reactors, even one of their fairly rare skimmers there. <laughs> they got the full Aquaforest range there. Um, let's have a look what else we can find. We've got some of the uh, some of the resins here, the Blue Life resins, which are pretty cool, tackling your nitrates, phosphates, organics, things like that. And uh, we'll pan across here and check out some of the fish that are in stock at the moment. We've got a good assortment there, nice little uh, bright wrasse there. Looks like we've got a long-nosed butterfly. Got a uh, great assortment of uh, chromis there, all looking nice and happy and healthy. Plenty of Oki clowns, scopas tang in there, blue tang in there. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ooh, I'm not sure what those ones are. We'll keep on moving. Come on on over here. We've got, uh, looks like a uh, mimic tang. We've got a yellow tang. That's a rare commodity these days. Uh, we've got fire fish, some baby blue tangs, flame hawks, uh, some more baby blue tangs. And then we move on into the freshwater fish. So I'll uh, just scoot on the other direction <laughs> because uh, if you thought my knowledge of saltwater fish was poor, you don't want to see my knowledge on freshwater fish. Let's uh, have a look what's hiding down the bottom here. Got a uh, nice little, uh, I think that was a, uh, a hawk there. We've got uh, some damsels, another scopes, uh, great barrier reef chromis there with that uh, instinctive yellow splash and black line. Uh, we've got some gobies there. Uh, we've got some cat, striped catfish there, a bit different. A decent range of fish. The team were telling me that they were expecting some more fish in soon though, but uh, they also told me they were expecting 20 boxes of coral in soon, which uh, blew my mind because they are already stacked to the brim with coral. So I don't know where they're going to fit all that in, but um, what a store. I really appreciated the time to uh, catch up with Jono and also Steve. And in fact, I managed to get a chance to have a quick chat to Steve while I was in store. So let's talk to him now. Like. Me with Steve from Nature Aquariums is going to tell us all about some exciting developments that are happening and um, where he's going to take this store in the future. So uh, thanks for having us, Steve. Can you tell us about um, your store so far and what you got planned for 2021? 2021 is going to be big for us. We've been here seven and a bit years. Um, I remember we started with just this, um, this little like this bench for our front counter and 20 tanks and. Uh, a few years later, we bought in, of course, the marine, and, and um, now we've got ridiculous amounts of stock everywhere. It's, it's, it's crazy. So um, we uh, will be having it, opening a second site. Actually, um, I put an offer in uh, this morning, <laughs> and a verbal one last night on a new Timing's site. everything. <laughs> it is, yeah. um, and that's three times the size of this building. Wow and then a yard. Wow. So it's, it's an absolute monster and it's something we wanted to do for a long time to really do um, an aquarium store justice. Um, so um, you know, a lot of bulk buying, um, a lot of direct importing um, and the opportunity to, for coral for example, to grow uh, a lot of our own coral um, and have a very, very substantial uh, coral systems like you know, two 10,000 litre coral systems type of thing. Um, so that, yeah, that's, that's what's happening there. We'll still keep this site, at least for now. Um, we, um, we may move this site somewhere very, very close um, and update it. Um, I've spent seven and a bit years now learning about um, how to run an aquarium. <laughs> um, you mean it's not easy? It's, <laughs> I, I've got 30 years experience in business and it's still not easy. So yeah, it's not easy. Um, but there's, uh, I've spent a lot of the last seven years uh, refining what really, really good maintenance systems look like. So for, for, for livestock, it's all about uh, how you maintain that livestock. That's really, really critical. Um, and what we do now is very labour intensive and takes um, takes a lot, a lot of time and therefore it doesn't always get done um, with the pressures of, of a busy store. So the new stuff we're doing will make the staff will love it. It'll be so much easier to get real quality out of it. We'll do our own quarantine, um, you know, all this sort of thing. So um, we'll have new tank designs that are ultra low maintenance. We'll have them available to the public as well. Uh, it's just some real smarts that you can introduce to the tank designs. And we'll have them available um, in the new site and on show. And we'll do um, a lot of the things I wanted to do in this site for a long time, but because we're, we're got a finite timeline on the lease and the parking is not ideal, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm working on it. Uh, so we'll get somewhere with better parking 
um, and then and the, the mega store will be will be just that. It, it's in Melbourne, um, and it'll be um, an amazing story. Um, and, and a dream. Exciting times. I mean, I know a lot of my viewers have followed the progress of my dream reef tank build. You're literally doing your dream aquarium shop build, yep. um, which is, I mean, there's some similarities. Next, next level. <laughs> there's some similarities, but uh, yeah, there's there's a whole lot of uh, multiplying multiplying the uh, magnitude of uh, every single component. So, um, really excited to see how that store comes along, and um, I wish you all the best for 2021 and beyond. Thanks, mate. We're starting with this. Like we did here, the building is it's really run down and old and it's, it's, it can't be expensive, <laughs> otherwise you can't, you can't afford to do it. Um, so um, I'm really looking forward to getting there and cleaning it up and then um, turning it into something really cool. Amazing, look forward to it. Cheers, um, Steve. See you guys. Gotcha. Bye. -bye. All right, guys, we might wrap this video up there. As you can see, nature aquariums and water gardens have some huge things in the work for 2021. So be sure to jump over to their Facebook page, follow them on there so you don't miss out anything. And of course, check out their website as well, natureaquariums.com.au. Some of the best prices Australia-wide. You won't be disappointed there. And of course, if you're anywhere within the region, pop on in and see Jono and Steve in store. They've got some incredible display tanks, be it salt water or fresh water, and of course, huge range of dry goods and live goods. So uh, pop on in there. Last but not least, guys, if uh, you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Have any questions at all, feedback, whatever it may be, pop it in the comments section down below. And last but not least, please ensure you subscribe to the channel. I've got one more store I'm visiting on this little uh, day off that I had, and I promise you it's one you do not want to miss. So hit that subscribe button down in the bottom right-hand corner. That'll make sure you won't miss out on the video. Anyway, guys, till next time, stay safe and keep reefing. Cheers. Bye.